water heater, world's most efficient water heater, uh, can save quite a bit of people's electric bills. It's a sphere, it's uh, about uh, 11 inches in diameter, so it holds about 1.7 gallons. And um, it has a resonator on the side, an ingoing probe, and we'll have a meter to measure the battery. It'll just be heated with a 9 volt battery, uh, basically. And whenever you're ready, we'll start. And you have any Well, let's go over what each item is. What exactly do we have here? Well, I think I went over it. It's a, it's a sphere. Okay. And there's a gallon, there's a 1.7 gallons of water, 11 inch sphere. And there's an ingoing probe and a resonator and a battery. Okay. And what are all those wires there? Well, the wires, they connect the resonator to the probe and the shell of the sphere. Okay. Or the water heater, if you want to say it that way. Okay. So, what would be the purpose of this exactly? To heat water. If okay. you heat a house, it could be used for heating houses, heating water. Uh, yeah. You can heat over 30 gallons of water in an hour, uh, basically, with just. 9 volt battery with basically with this system if you were pulling the water out and circulating it and so on and so forth. Okay, great. Well, let's start and see what it does. Okay. Okay, the, in, the time and the temperature, let's go to the ingoing time, temperature is 100 degrees, 101. Can you see it okay on the camera? I'm sorry, let me zoom it in here. Okay, it's 101 degrees. Okay, and the time is 25 minutes and 30 seconds. We're going to go for two minutes. And we're plugging in the meter. And the draw is 0.18 amps. Okay. We're set on the 10 amp setting. You can read the 0.18 probably. And this is the power coming out of that 9 volt battery right there. That's correct. Okay. So, what would be the advantage of having a heater like this? Basically, the advantages are many. Uh, lower energy costs. You can save about 90% on your heating bill. Uh, if you're paying $500 a month now, which most people in the colder countries are, colder areas of the country are, then um, you could heat your home for $50 instead of $500 uh, or less. It could also be designed to provide heat during power outages. It could be portable. Could run RVs, recreational vehicles. Well, it could be used in RVs and boats and camping. It's non-toxic. It's fuelless. Provides affordable heat. Uh, could be used for either water heater or home heating. Low energy consumption. Fast, scalable, to any size. Inexpensive, easy maintenance. Could be used as water distill distillation and also as a humidifier. That was another thing we didn't think about. If in dry areas, a lot of times. Women especially like humid air, so this would actually could be made to put out a little bit of humidity into the room, as well as heat. How did you come up with this idea? Well, it's based on Keeley's work, sympathetic vibrational physics, and uh, basically, if you resonate things correctly, uh, if you resonate things correctly, what time did we start? Twenty-five thirty. Oh, okay. We got twenty-seven and twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Eight, okay, we've got 184 degrees Fahrenheit. Did you get it on the camera? Okay. Got it. So what's the significance that? We just went up uh, 84 degrees in two minutes. Why is that significant? Well, that's a lot of heat for a little bit of power, basically. Uh, it's, you know, yeah, if you wanted to do the same thing with big car batteries, you'd need at least four of them, probably. Uh, or if you needed to you wanted to plug it in the wall, you were talk, probably talking about uh, 10,000 watts to do the same thing as what you just saw. So if I didn't have that little resonator on the side of the globe, how many 9 volt batteries would it have taken to raise the temperature that high? Yeah, quite a few. 250 or something. I think we guessed, I guesstimated 250 yesterday. I'm, actually, I think it would be more than that, but whatever. Something like that. So this is a fuelless electricity free generator or it requires an external power source how does this thing work give me the give me some more examples of what exactly this thing does and why it's beneficial what are some of the benefits of this well 
you can run houses as far as heating them goes. You can run, uh, uh, you know, you get rid of furnace, you get rid of the hot water heater. Uh, it has a lot of uses. Uh, in camping situations, uh, it could run with a battery. You know, you can run off your car if your if your house uh, your car battery if your car is working and you you got your car battery, you can run this run this type of thing. You heat your heat your heat your house, heat your room, whatever. Uh, to keep from freezing to death and power outages and so on and so forth. So it's the world's most efficient heater. Yep. Fantastic. Can we see what's inside? Yeah, let's take it apart. Uh, you definitely got the reading on the heat, right? Uh, we did. 184 degrees. Okay, okay, let's take it apart and uh, see what's inside. We'll pour the water in a bucket there. And I'll need some gloves because the thing is hot. Here's the sphere. I don't know. If, I mean, the inside of the sphere, the probe. I don't know if you can see the steam coming off or not. Can you see it on the camera? Maybe not. Maybe against. Well, whatever. Well, maybe right here. You see it there now? you go. Okay, see it? Yeah. Okay. And disconnect everything. And we'll see if we're all disconnected. And we'll pour it. I'll bring the bucket over so you don't have to move your chair. Yeah, basically to make a sphere, you start with a stainless steel sheet and you put it on a, a lathe. And you, there's a tool that bends it into the hemisphere. And then you glue it with the hemisphere together. Uh, Jim was asking about that earlier. Any other questions or thoughts? Yeah, what's the purpose of that probe that goes down the center of that sphere? Well, that's the uh, ingoing negative. And uh, it becomes three different types of negative. But, yeah, basically it creates, it helps establish a vibration from the inside to the outside. It sets up a sets up a set of vibrations, and that creates an unusually fast heating of the water. Also, heats heats perfectly smooth. You don't hear the popping like you get with a lot of uh, furnaces and stuff. Uh, even if there's no blower in your furnace, you'll still hear popping sounds as it heats up, and that's because it doesn't heat up evenly. It suddenly changes size. This heats up perfectly, perfectly uniform, both the sphere and the and the, uh, the probe inside, basically. So does that probe make it radioactive, like a microwave, or? No, there's no uh, dangerous energies coming off of this whatsoever. Matter of fact, the energy that this gives off is actually healthy, it's good for you. Fantastic, thank you. Well, let's let's say let's take get back to Jim's question. For the average engineer or scientist that's looking at this, he would perceive that all the energy that's being all the heat energy that's being created in this globe is being created out of that nine volt battery. Oh, well, that's not correct. The nine volt is not even necessary, as we already discussed. Uh, the this serves as a catalyst to get everything going. Basically, the battery is good for starting. Like if you start your car, it's good for starting. That's it. That's all. Of it. It also, well, it's good for starting, it's good for keeping things stable in systems. It's good to have battery because if you get surges, the batteries can absorb those. Uh, yeah, so batteries have useful purposes. Uh, yeah. So they're not really used in your system to actually sustain the power. They'd be used to kick it open. Right. And then you could technically pull it out of the circuit because you've created a somewhat of a chain reaction. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. It's a, it's a controlled reaction. Yeah, you can call it a chain reaction. Yeah, they did a movie a number of years ago, a uh, chain reaction. And I think we're all saying where the, where the guy figured out how to make hydrogen from water in a really efficient manner. And uh, that's, that's a good analogy.
analogy and a good even even for this. You can make hydrogen instead of heat if you want to. You can make electricity instead of heat and change things enough. Oh, go ahead, please. Uh, you've been talking about making a very efficient water heater, but it seems like uh, really you've solved the world's energy problems, which is a bit more significant than just a water heater. Yeah, well, we're not the first ones to do it, but you know, Tesla did this stuff years ago, and so did Keeley. But yeah, we, we have solutions. That's what we're improving. It's technologies and world improvement ministry is all about.